Hey there, this is Chris Sev from Better Dev. Today, we're gonna to be building this cute little loader using Tailwind CSS and a little custom CSS. And I know we haven't done any custom CSS in a lot of these Tailwind videos, and I'll show you why we're gonna do it. But the cool thing about this is it's going to use Tailwind animations. You can be sure that Tailwind provides a really nice set of classes for animations, just like it does for everything else. So here in the animation docs, we have animate none, animate spin, ping, pulse, and bounce. So if you scroll down here, you can see that the animate spin can be great for little loaders like this. Animate pulse, or sorry, ping is good for um, these notification type buttons. Pulse is good for a loader card, skeleton loaders. And bounce is good for anything where you need to bring attention to a certain piece or element. To get us started, we are going to have a brand new code pen. We're going to go into our settings for CSS. I'm gonna go down here and say, let's bring in Tailwind. So here's Tailwind CSS. I'm gonna click save there. And now we don't need the CSS or the JS, and we may need the CSS in a little bit, which is kind of unique to all of our Tailwind tutorials we've done. Let's start with our HTML and let's do all of the HTML first and then we'll start styling elements one by one. So we're gonna have a div here, and I know I said we're gonna do just the HTML, but I really like doing the uh, overall foundation container, especially for these demos. So let's do minimum height is screen, flex box, justify center, and item center. And that basically makes this demo the full height of our code pen. It makes it centered for horizontal and vertical. And let's give it a background, BG black. And I'll press tab there and I'm using Emmet. All right, so now let's create a div. And then inside of that div, we're gonna have three divs like that. And that's gonna be how we build out our loader. And the cool thing about this is that's all it's gonna take. We're not even gonna do any contents inside of these divs. So the thing here is let's start with the outside div. Let's go for class. We're gonna go background is white. And let's see that in action. It probably won't since there's no contents of that div. We'll give it a padding just so we can actually see it. And let's go for a rounded full so we can get a nice pill effect. Well, it'll be a circle here, but once we start adding in these, it'll turn into a loader pill. All right, so let's go class right here. And I did command click to get all of these multi cursor editing right here. I'm going to go for. Width is five, height is five. And they won't really show yet, so let's go background gray at 800. And there they are, and rounded is full, so we can get circles in there. Now we need them to sit side by side, so let's go to the parent element and say flex right here. We also need to add spacing to this. So we can also do margin right of four, margin right of four right here. But I'm not a big fan of doing the margins on the children elements. I'm a big fan of saying, well, all three of these need spacing in between them. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite classes, space X is three. And you can do space X four, five, six, but Tailwind comes with this really cool space X class. And I've got a video on that and it's uh, other, Counterpart space Y. Cool, so now that we have these, the last step to this is using the Tailwind animation. So let's go here, 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 and we're gonna say animate bounce. And now all three of those will bounce, and that is gonna be good enough to build out a Tailwind loader. Now it's not the most impressive loader since all of these are bouncing at the same exact time, so I wanna play around with this and see if we can't make it a little bit more realistic. To make animations be a little bit more lively, a really good tactic here is to give a animation delay to each element. So if I did animation delay, animation delay, animation delay, so that each one would kind of move uh, one by one, that would make this a lot more lively. But the thing is, is Tailwind CSS doesn't have an animate delay yet. If we go here, there is a transition delay, but there is no animation delay. So we have to go and make that ourselves. I'm gonna add a class here and call it loader. And then here I'm gonna say loader div first child. 
animation delay is 0.1 second. And let's do the same for the second child loader. Div nth child is two. And let's do an animation delay of 0.2 seconds. And let's copy this one. And I'll do the third child right here for 0.3 seconds. And now you can see all of these kind of bouncing at a different speed or a different uh, duration and delay. So, so now you can see each one kind of bouncing one by one. Or you can even uh, amplify this a bit more and do 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. And you can really see them bouncing at different speeds. And I actually like that a little bit more. So the fun thing here is you can change out the animation duration as well. So we can say loader div, and we can say animation duration. Let's go for 0 0.5 seconds. So try to speed this up a little bit. So that got a, a little bit faster. and. Um, definitely a little bit more frantic than it was. So you can play around with that. There isn't an animation duration yet. There is a transition duration, but no animation duration just yet. But the cool thing about this is you can use your Tailwind animation classes to build out some fun stuff. So I can actually say, all right, well, on the parent, let's do an animate spin, which would probably be not that fun. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, there's some fun things that you can do with the Tailwind animation classes. One thing I like doing is maybe adding a spin to each of these three and then saying origin is top. And this won't look that good, but it's kind of a fun effect. You could maybe use that for like googly eyes or something, <laughs> but uh, a lot of really fun things if you play around with the Tailwind animation classes and a little bit of your own custom CSS. There's a lot of fun things we can do with the animation classes, so feel free to go play around with them and see what things you can create with animations. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.